-hmm. We're gearing up for some warmer weather this weekend. This morning, uh, it's pretty chilly behind that departing storm, but uh, looking good. This is a glance from the Oka Mountain camera right across Salt Lake Valley. We've got fair skies, a few clouds around, good air quality. The problem, of course, is what it feels like. In fact, we've got a temperature uh, that's 11 in Evanston. It's 27 right now in Salt Lake City. Right at freezing in price where it's 32. Low 40s, though, uh, not only in Green River, but also St. George, where it's currently 43. Now, behind the storm, we're drying out. We do have a little bit of moisture left, some clouds uh, lingering along and over the mountains. But in general, we've got fair skies across much of Utah. Now, the travel of pressure that brought the unsettled weather earlier this week, that's drifting off to the east. But on the back side of the trough, there's one more disturbance uh, that's over southern Montana, northwest Wyoming. That's going to get caught up within a northerly flow, drift south across the state today, work with the moisture that's in place in the mountains and potentially bring uh, some light snow showers. Otherwise, uh, with that northerly flow, cold air in place for the time being, but high pressure will be drifting in from the west, and that's what will not only keep it storm-free this weekend, but gradually warm us up. This afternoon, though, we're only expecting to peak at 43 in Salt Lake City, so a good 10 degrees low normal for this time of year. So after a cold start, it's still going to be a cool afternoon. You'll want to keep that jacket handy. Temperature will climb into the low 30s in Park City, mid 50s in Moab, St. George. You'll make it up near 60. And after some morning clouds, it'll become mostly sunny in most of the valleys, partly cloudy later today over the mountains with those snow showers gradually tapering off. We could also get some gusty canyon winds in Washington County, so keep that in mind. But this weekend, looking good sunny and with a high pressure building big warm up temperature climbs into the upper 60s by sunday the problem is the time change you have to set the clock forward one hour we'll lose some sleep but at least it'll be feeling good and then next week it'll be cooling off with a chance of showers by tuesday in salt lake city it's going to be sunny in the low 50s tomorrow breeze out of the south helps temperature climb into the upper 50s on sunday that's a warm up before a fast moving week storm that could bring a few showers on monday but then valley rain mountain snow becomes a lot more likely by tuesday and we might even get a mix of the two down to the valley floors by this coming wednesday